today's topic, there is no topic, it's kind of going to be a, a vlog or something, I don't know, but today I'm going to just talk about some things that's been going on in the world and some things that's been happening to me personally, so I'm recording this on my phone, so the quality probably will not be um, as good as it usually is, but I'm having some computer issues, just like I always am. Um, Audacity ain't working right now. I'm not sure why. I think it could be because of my drivers, but I don't. I don't know. It's really, it's a hard uh, a diagnosis, I guess. But um, I still want to put out more videos every day, because um, out here in this world, it's getting extremely, extremely psychotic out here. Um, there's just a whole, there's a whole host of things that's just happening out here that people should start seeing. People should have already saw this stuff and start waking up, you know what I mean? Because out here in this world, you see evil every single day. I just see evil everywhere. And it, it feels like it doesn't stop, you know what I mean? It just keeps going 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 intensifies it'll, it'll, there'll be a break but it'll never completely stop and you know we just gotta keep strong you know what I mean because <sighs> it's hard out here seeing a lot of stuff seeing a lot of people suffer um, we just have to keep close to God and Jesus Christ Yahshua and he'll get us through anything so, with that being said, I just want to go into current events now, because there's been a lot of things going on in this world. I'll start, I'll start with uh, the most recent, which uh, was this Hurricane Harvey, this man-made storm uh, that NASA made, or that CERN made. They're all, they're all connected to each other. They're all high-level elitist scumbags that will burn in hell. For eternity if they don't come to Jesus Christ and repent but you are, we already know um, we already know what these people do and what side they play for we already know so these people uh, made this man-made storm these elitists and they're basically just doing tests on us to see how they can control us the best way you know what I mean because to them it's all about control it's all about power. That's it. They're elitist scum. So this Hurricane Harvey, um, there's actually a lot of details in this story because it's not only a hurricane, it's a story because that's what the media does. It's always a story. It's always extra information that um, the government wants to um, push onto us. It's just not only a storm. You know what I mean? It's an agenda. That's what it is. And uh, I heard about Joel Osteen. I heard about uh, Joel Osteen and how he didn't open uh, the doors to his mega church uh, for like four or five days after the hurricane or some garbage. And <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, you know what I mean? Obviously, I can because he's a Satanist and he's a. Uh, like I was saying, uh, like I'm recording on my phone, so I gotta tape this shit in clips. But like I was saying, Joel Olstein is a Satanist Freemason, and um, <laughs> this dude has like 14 million dollars. Now we all know what the Bible says, the King James Bible says about having wealth in this world. It's harder for a wealthy man to make it in paradise. You know what I mean? It's hard for a wealthy man to make it in paradise. So, what Joel Osteen is, he's, a, he's basically a Satanist Freemason that pretends to be a Christian. They want him to take up this Christianity thing because they hate Jesus Christ. And they, they, um, 
these people that look or that appear as Christians, um, whenever they do something that's not Christian like, like exactly what Joel Osteen did and all these people do, they'll blame it on Christians. Why? Because they're against Christ and they set it up like that. They'll set it up like, oh, he or she, Lady Gaga, Christian, Kesha is a Christian, Joel, all these people, entertainers, musicians. But in the news, when you actually hear about the crap and the scum actions that these people do, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, they're Christian. Oh, that means Christians are terrible people. These people are Christians. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all mind control. That's all it is. It's all a bunch of fucking mind control that these people push on us. That's all it is, is mind control. And people gotta wake up to this. People, there's too many people asleep. These people should be waking up to certain things that's going on in this world. Like, all right, so um, before, before I get on the next topic, I really uh, wanna address this. So after Harvey, right? And after, um, the Hurricane Harvey, now there's another storm coming, which is Hurricane Irma, which is supposed to hit. It's supposed, what they're saying, it's in Puerto Rico right now, or very close to Puerto Rico, and it's supposed to uh, hit Florida, uh, South Florida. That's what they're saying of as of September 5th. So, I just wanted to let y'all know that, you know what I mean? Here's another man-made storm that they're um, that they're pushing, man. It's it's ridiculous, and it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse because the Bible, the Bible explains everything. In the time, in this time, the time of is basically the fall. It's the fall of society. All these things would happen. You guys gotta read up on the King James Version Bible. It's the only way. God is the only way. Jesus Christ, if you do not have salvation through Christ, I pray that you find Christ and that you repent all of your sins to Christ. You give him your heart, your mind, and your soul. Because the only way you will be taken up out of here is through Christ. There's no other escape. So with that being said, I'm going to transition to this other topic, which is uh, flat earth. Now, the whole flat earth thing, right? The whole flat earth thing. The Bible, the King James Version Bible proves flat earth, which, or proves that the earth is flat with scripture. <clears throat> There's multiple scriptures on it. I'm not going to tell you which scriptures it is. I'm just going to tell you that if you read the Bible, you will find out the shape of this earth that we live on. Because at the end of the day, I'm here to push more people to Jesus Christ and God, our Heavenly Father. That's it. But you also have to put in the work on your end. You have to go out and want it. That's why I'm not gonna. I'll I'll I'll, I'll um quote script or I'll quote scripture um when I have my Bible open. But I will always push it for you guys to go and look it up yourselves, because. I don't want you to believe what I'm saying. I want you to b literally believe the Bible. I want y'all to look this up yourselves. That's the only way. The only way is if you do it. You can't you, you can't save someone else's soul, but you can help them. You know what I mean? I'm helping y'all. But you, at the end of the day, y'all have to save your own soul. You have to let, you have to put in the work. You have to put in the work. And you have to let Jesus, because Jesus is going to save your soul, but you have to put in your work to get to that point. You know what I'm saying? You have to do that. No one else. And it's hard out here in this world because no one else, every, every time anyone hears Jesus Christ, the name Jesus Christ, the name Yahshua, God the Heavenly Father, people just scoff at that. And that's what really pisses me off because... The world has gotten to such a fallen point that nobody cares about God and the gospel and Christ. But going back to flat earth for a second, there are plenty of scriptures that go and prove that the earth is flat. Four corners of the earth. I want y'all to go research that because it's, it's extremely important. Um, 
What's next? What's next? What's next? Next topic. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else has been going on in the world? I f- oh yeah. So this whole North Korea and Trump thing—it's all a distraction. And what it's what it does um, even more than being like a distraction, it puts fear into into these people. You know what I mean? It puts fear. They want to put fear into the masses so that. It goes back to the Hegelian dialectic. The Hegelian dialectic is they cause the problem. We ask them for a solution and they give us the solution. Who holds all the leverage in that? They do. We're asking that they cause the problem, right? They cause the problem and we ask them to fix it, right? We ask them to give us a solution. And then what do they do? They give us the solution. They hold all the power in that situation. So I'll say it again. It's the Hegelian dialectic. Excuse me. I keep like burping. Stuttering and shit. I don't know why. I'm just like. I'm. I'm, (laughs) I don't know. I'm fired up. That's what I do know. I'm fired up about this shit. I'm just. I'm trying to stay calm and cool. You know what I mean? Because. It's good to control your emotions. You know what I mean? It's good not to let your emotions get the best of you. And to have that control But it's also Even better To uh, Preach on the truth And preach on the gospel So I just wanted to talk real quick About a couple of things that was going on In this world That they're pushing That the elitists are pushing on us But they've been doing this forever So we should have We should have been Um Waking up to it, you know what I mean? We should have, we should already be in the position to fight against it. And some people are, and some people, they not, they not in position right now. But I, I really do pray for these, these people and their souls and their families that they can wake up, and see what's going on, and so we can fight against the elites and Satan. So I'm gonna just end this video right here. We'll probably make another video. I'm not sure yet. Um, I was going to do another one today too, but we'll see. I'm about to, about to be out. So peace.